Chapter 838 After all, wouldn't she have done the same if she was in the same situation as Elaine? Therefore, Lady Richard did not intend to be kind or gracious toward Elaine at all. Moreover, Lady Richard could not help but remember the humiliation that she had suffered at the villa at Beacon Top today. At this time, she said coldly, this is the result and price that you are paying for your own actions. You should just enjoy the consequences of your actions. This is just the first day. We are going to spend another 14 days together. After she was done speaking, Lady Richard snorted coldly before she turned around and walked out of the toilet. Elaine was sitting on the toilet floor and she felt very hungry and cold. She really felt like crying because she was so helpless and desperate at this point. However, she immediately covered her mouth when she thought of the fierce and vicious Brabus. However, she could not help it in the end and she simply hugged her legs tightly as she buried her face between her legs and wept bitterly. Elaine had never encountered such a tragic experience in her whole entire life. Everything that she had suffered and encountered today was worse than all the sufferings that she had ever endured in the past few decades of her life. She could not help but panicked when she thought about the fact that she would have to spend the next 14 days living in the same cell as Lady Richard. When Elaine felt even more desperate when she thought about the fact that she might have to wait indefinitely in the detention center and she cried until she was almost out of tears. As Elaine was crying in the toilet in the cell at the detention center, Alex was driving back to the villa at Beacon Top with Trump. The old man was humming and singing tunes out of excitement, and the expression of joy on his face was simply indescribable. Emma and Mia had already arrived back at the villa one step ahead of them. As soon as Alex and Trump entered the door, they could see Emma rushing out of the living room immediately. When Emma saw both of them, she hurriedly asked, Dad, Alex, how many Mahjong halls did the both of you go to? Trump had a guilty conscience as he replied, I don't remember anymore. Anyway, we visited a lot of different Mahjong halls to look for your mother. However, no one had seen her and no one had any clues about her whereabouts at all. Emma asked, does that mean that there are no results at all? No, Trump waved his hand slightly before he said, oh, Emma. Your mother is already an adult and she is already grown up. Nothing bad will happen to her. The worst thing that could happen to her is if she has been cheated by some MLM organization. Don't worry. How can I not be worried about her, Emma replied with bloodshot eyes. What should we do if she has encountered an accident? There is no news about her at all. A lot of bad things could have already happened to her. The longer we wait, the more dangerous it would be for her. Do you know how many disappearances have been reported on the internet and how many people are actually found after? Most of those people who are eventually found have met up with bad guys and encountered the worst kind of situations. Trump replied immediately, how can it be as dangerous as you make it out to be? Do you really think that any bad guys would see your mother as a worthy target at all? Does she have any money? She has already lost all of our family's money. Do you think she is really that pretty for the bad guys to even see her as a target? Do you think that the robbers would risk getting shot and spending the rest of their lives in jail just to rob and take advantage of someone like her? Dad, Emma said angrily, Dad, how can you say something like that? At this time, all that Trump could think about was Nat Arya. Furthermore, he was being a little more unrestrained since he had had a little too much to drink. He did not care about Elaine at all and he could not even be bothered to hide it from Emma. Oh, the truth is ugly but everything that I said is nothing but the truth. Firstly, it is impossible for the bad guys to rob her of her money. Secondly, it is completely impossible for the bad guys to take a liking to her and try to rape her. So, what kind of danger can she possibly be in? Besides, don't you understand your mother's temper and personality by now? Who would dare to provoke her? She yelled out of our window in our own housing community in the past and no one dared to make another noise then. Do you really think that anyone would dare to see her as a target? Emma was left completely speechless by her father's words. After that, she shrugged before she asked angrily, 
Dad, were you drinking just now?